Revelation, the closed book open. Hello, welcome back to Midship Ministries. Here we are studying the book of Revelation. We have we are looking at decoding revelations messages and so we know we started last time uh, looking at revelation on the subject understanding revelation and now we will continue our study let's pray father in heaven again we want to thank you you have been so gracious to us you have allowed us to study your word so that we can understand what your plan is for us. Be with us now is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So, we said we you first look around in Revelation to see what if Revelation explains itself. Then, we, if we can't find the explanation in Revelation, then let other scripture explain what Revelation itself does not. Now, why is the resurrection of the righteous referred to as the first resurrection? In Revelation 20 verses 5 and 6, we see that. But it doesn't explain it. And this is the point we're making. Uh, uh, that makes it so important that we study the rest of the Bible. Some people have problems because they think the Old Testament is done away with. I'm going to prove to you that if you don't understand the Old Testament, if you don't understand other parts of the Bible, that's why some people are confused when they get to Revelation. Because Revelation does not explain much, many things. It just throws it at you, like what's happening here. So to understand what's happening, we go to John chapter 5, verses 28 and 29. The resurrection of life comes first. There will be two resurrections. Also, Acts chapter 24 and verse 15 help to explain that. There will be two resurrections. But all Revelation say is that it just refers to the first resurrection. Now, how does the prophet Joel interpret the locusts emerging from the smoke? In Revelation 1 verse 10, it speaks about that. But again, it does not explain. Much of this prophecy in Joel is quoted verbatim in one of the seven trumpets. An explanation of this locust army is given in Joel. In Revelation, there is no explanation. So we use the same meaning from Joel in Revelation. I want us to get that. And notice something, that Joel is a part of the Old Testament. So if you tore out the Old Testament, those who believe that the Old Testament is of no value, if you tore the Old Testament from your Bible, throw it away, then come to Revelation, read this passage in Revelation 9, verses 1 through 10. You are going to be in the dark because there will be no explanation. Now, what will be the fate of any who add to the things of Revelation? Revelation 22, 18. God shall add unto him the plagues written in this book. And this book is the Bible, the book of Revelation. And I'm, I can share with you that there are some fearful plagues that are written in the book of Revelation. 
Now, what will be taken away from one who tampers with this book? Revelation 22 and verse 19. His part will be taken out of the book of life and out of the holy city. Friends, as we study this book, we are going to be talking about some... So when you talk about beauty, it's in Revelation. When it talks about the holy city, you don't want to miss it for anything. You don't want your name to be removed from the book of life. And so we don't want to add anything to this book because we want our names in the book of life and what we want to be a part of the holy city when God, when Jesus returns to take his people home. Finally, how do you respond? I will begin to pay more attention to the scriptures. That would be a good thing to do. Two, by God's grace, I will be a part of the white robe group of people. I want to be a part of that. Don't you? And so pray that by God's grace, my name, your name, will be in the book of life and I will be in the holy city. That's where we want to be. That's our destination. And by God's grace, you and I will be there. Let us pray. Father in heaven, what a beauty in studying your words. And today we are reminded that our names can be found in the book of life and we can have a part in the holy city. We want to be there. That's why we're studying your words. By your grace, help us to be there is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, friend. It was good for us to study together today. We look forward to next time. God bless you.